Welcome back. Uh, we're just speaking about this with Ken Christian, Mayor's Gala of the Arts, coming up next Saturday night at the Coast Hotel and Conference Centre. We have Margaret Krumka joining us, Executive Director of the Camels Art Gallery. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Yes. Nice to be here again. Yes, lots of planning goes into this event every year. It does. Uh, Coco, Coca Cabana, I believe, is the theme. Copa Cabana, Copa, yes. Copa Cabana. Yeah, and those of us that remember Barry Manilow. Yes. Yeah, there you go. How does one dress for this? That is the... That is the key question we get asked this time of year, what to wear. And I am probably almost the worst person to ask because I always wear black. <laughs> it's a safe um, color. It's, it's safe. easy. I look good in black. Um, but uh, Copacabana is really tropical and vibrant. And so, you know, we think jewel tones and uh, fruit tones. But honestly, it's um, cocktail. You know, dress sure. what makes you feel great. Absolutely. And for the fellas... You know, just come come as you like. You know, ties aren't mandatory, but it is a chance to kind of dress up. Yes. Yeah. And if Carmen Miranda is your thing, and you want to wear the fruit on exactly. your head, you can absolutely get on board with that as well. <laughs> Wishing I could find the perfect pair of banana earrings or something. But That's no, right. I've had, yeah, I'll be in black. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the pictures. These are, of course, from last year. Uh, I was there last year as oh well. What goodness. an event it is! It's just an amazing collaboration of the arts community, uh, and and of course, uh, there's people that are recognized for support supporting the arts community at this every year mm -hmm. as well. I thoroughly enjoyed myself last year. Great. Yeah, it's a really nice, it's nice to see these uh, award winners last year too, because that's the highlight for me is that we recognize the people in our community that have d really done and need to be recognized for their accomplishments. Yes. And then we're seeing Annette Dominic right now with the music, like the music and the entertainment Beautiful. is just... It's such a little gem of an evening for that experience. Absolutely. Uh, Margaret, I have to say I feel very honoured. I have been nominated for a second time I as know. Business in Support of the Arts. So that not being me, but our show, Midday. So uh, I will be there along with some of the other members of our station. Uh, and we're really looking forward to it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. you guys are such uh, wonderful supporters of the arts. Mm -hmm. So it's our way to sort of demonstrate uh, your support and say our thanks. Yeah. Sure, thanks. Uh, are there tickets left for people who might want to still uh, jump in? And there are. There are. Um, I wouldn't say there's many, but definitely people should attend. We've got lots of sponsors that are attending and you know, purchasing tables, lots of individual art supporters that come year after year, which yes. is great. And because it's Western Canada Theatre, Symphony Orchestra, or the Kamloops Symphony and then Kamloops Art Gallery, we all have our own sort of uh, supporters and donors and members that like to come out and show their support. Mm -hmm. But anyone from the community is welcome. Yes. Like it is a community-wide event. Yes. Um, what was my last question I was going to ask? This is a fundraiser, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, where does the money get spent? Do you, does it get divided up between the three different organizations? It's rigidly divided three ways. Rigidly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all put in equal amounts of effort to realize this project, and uh, all the profits are divided strictly three ways, which is great. It's a great, um, a great way to do it. Yes. Um, this year we're doing an online auction actually in advance so you can go online to any one of our websites and sort of look at the prizes. There's trips to Whistler and um, I think there's a trip to Vancouver. There's extraordinary packages through this new uh, sort of fundraising initiative. We're kind of trying to kick it up a notch, um, bring our fundraising efforts to the digital era. Which is excellent because so, you're reaching out to so many more people with the, the auction. Yeah, and people that can't come always say they want to support us, so this is kind of a way Absolutely. that people can engage. And so to get into the online auction, would you go to MaryGalaOfTheArts.com to yes. be a part of that? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thanks. It's yes. my pleasure. I look forward to seeing yes. you. Yes. It's going to be a fun night. Uh, no question about that. Information is on the screen. If you would like to buy a last-minute ticket, Margaret says there are some left, not many. But also, if you just want to take part in the online auction, MaryGalaForTheArts.com is where you can go that Saturday night. So not tomorrow night, but eight days from now to take part in that. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.